Have you ever wondered how much money plant nurseries make? Well, in today's episode, I'm going to show you how you can turn a plant like this from a dollar to two dollars into a thousand, two thousand, ten thousand per percent profit. The only business you can do that in is going to be a plant nursery. Okay, before we get started, you need to watch this video all the way to the end. Because if you go out and start your own plant nursery and you don't make money because I told you you will, well, that's on you. Don't come back and hate on me because you didn't watch the whole video. I told you so. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and talk about plants. Let's see how much plants cost, how much nurseries are paying for the plants, and how much money are they charging you. Because I know exactly because I sell plants. So check this out. These are trees right here are Jamaican cherry trees. Now these trees were grown from cuttings. Now the cutting themselves, if you have a plant, obviously the cutting is going to be free or close to free. Now over here the investment is going to be a four inch container and then you got some soil. This whole thing right here is probably less than a dollar. Now these plants right here, before they went on sale, they were $24.99. So that's a lot of money. That's over a thousand, two thousand percent profit for just for a little plant. So if you want to get rich, you want to start a plant nursery. So let's talk about another plant. So this plants right here, they are called Southern Magnolias. Uh, they're not that popular in my area simply because they are slow growing plants. They have very shallow fibrous roots. So you got to water them often and obviously people don't like to water here in the desert. So, but anyways, once you get them going, they give you white puffy flowers that look amazing. Now these plants right here were originally grown from seed. Now the seeds are technically almost free because when they put out seeds, you get tons of seeds. So very easy to get, very cheap and affordable. Now these containers right here, they are three gallon containers. Now I usually grow these plants in either three gallon containers or the taller ones over there, five gallons, depending on what I have at the, at the time. Now these containers right here, I buy used for about 40 to 50 cents each. But if I was to buy them new, they are about $1.50 to almost $2. Now we got some soil in there and sometimes I have to put some stakes in there. So the whole investment in this plant right here, it's about, I would say two to three dollars. So it's not really that, that bad, right? Well, I sell this plant right here for $49.99. So yeah, I only invested about a couple of dollars and I'm turning around and making what, 3,000, 4,000 percent return of investment. What business can you actually start right now and make that money? Tell me in the comment section. Let's talk about uh, another plant, another example right here. So this plant right here is a fig. I think this is a Violet de Bordeaux fig. Now this was uh, grown from cutting and uh, the cutting itself came from my tree. I had to prune it anyway, so I was gonna throw them away. And obviously we got a five gallon container and we got some soil right here. So the investment, for this plant right here, it's no more than two to three dollars, the same as a Southern Magnolia. Now this plant right here is for sale right now for $39.99. Now let's talk about a different type of uh, a resale tactic, and this is uh, buying plants and reselling them. So the mango trees, I don't grow mango trees here in Arizona because they take way too long to grow, especially when you graft them. I don't have scions, I don't have rootstock, so for me it's a lot easier to source them from a wholesale nursery in Florida. Now, when I buy mango trees, I have to buy a lot of them to make it worth my time, right? So these mango trees right here, I buy them for, I don't know, between 20 and $25 wholesale each, right? And then when they get here, I turn around and resell them for $59.99. Now the return of investment on this one is not as high as my other plants that I grow myself, but it's still a lot higher than what you will get in a regular business. So if it's that easy to make this much money in a plant nursery, why don't you see plant nurseries come up everywhere? You can grow a plant just for a few dollars and resell them for, you know, a thousand plus percent return of investment profit. So let's go back to the Jamaican cherry trees that we talked about earlier. So these trees were grown from cuttings, right? Now, from the time that the cuttings are taken and rooted, it takes usually about three to four months for them to root themselves fully in the container. And then another couple of months for them to actually grow to a size that people, people are going to be willing to buy like this four inch containers right here. Now these are a little overgrown because they've been sitting here the whole entire year. But normally when they are for sale, 
ready for sale. They are about one third the size like this, fully rooted in these containers, and I sell them for $24.99. But for me to go from cutting to a sellable size, it takes at least six months. You also have to account labor. It took time to go get the cuttings. It took time to potting up. It took time to take care of them. And then also you have to take into account watering. These plants require care every single day. And if you don't water them, well, guess what's gonna happen? Like this one right here. This one went dry and as you can see, it's on its way out. This one is a goner because I'm watering these plants by hand and when you water plants by hand, they tend to die. But yeah, so six months, watering, taking care of them, that is a long time to make money. Now it's a lot of money compared to the money that I actually invested into this plant, but let's take a look at something else. So six months or so to be able to sell this plant right here, right? Yeah, that's a long time. But guess what happens if the plant doesn't sell? You don't make any money. And then what do you do? You keep the plant, you put it in a bigger container, hoping people are actually gonna buy the bigger plant. Yes, they're gonna be a little more expensive, but guess what? It doesn't really matter how much money you charge per plant because if nobody's buying the plants, it's completely irrelevant. Now let's talk about the uh, Southern Magnolias. This one, it really didn't cost that, cost that much money and I'm selling them for like, you know, 3,000 plus uh, percent uh, return, return of investment profit. But let's talk about it. So these plants right here, they were started in small little containers like the Jamaican cherry you saw earlier. They went about six to eight months before they were able to be sold. And then the ones that didn't sell, we had to put them in bigger containers. Like this one gallon containers right here. They sat here for about a year before they were root bound again. And then they got repotted into a bigger container where they're at right now. Now, that entire process took a lot of time. It took a lot of labor. It took a lot of watering. It took a lot of care. And also, guess what? They're sitting here. They're not selling. Have I sold several? Yes, I have. But these plants right here, they are about four years. I have invested four years of my time growing these plants just to make, you know, $30 or so. Let's talk about the figs. So figs, when I propagate them in the winter time, usually I'm not able to sell them for about six to eight months. Now, these plants right here, they don't really take that much time to go from cutting to a sellable size, uh, sellable condition, but still it takes time. It takes a lot of labor to do the cuttings, a lot of labor to fill the containers. If you're doing it yourself, your time is worth money. Because guess what? If you are working at McDonald's, putting the same amount of hours you are going to be putting into your plant nursery, guess what? You will come ahead working at McDonald's rather than selling plants. Okay, so you buy this plants wholesale right here. You invest a little bit of more money. You can make some money back. But what are the downsides? Well, check this out. These mangoes right here, they need cold protection. If you don't have an area to uh, protect them in the winter time, they are going to die and you're gonna lose all of them. Now you see these mangoes right here? This year I got the smallest shipment I have ever had at my nursery. And I thought I was not gonna have enough to last me through the season because normally that would have happened. But this year the sales are down and you see I have a lot of mangoes left. If I had bought more, thinking that I was gonna be able to sell them, I would have been losing a lot more money. Now this plants right here, winter is coming. I'm gonna to have to take care of them in the winter because if I don't, I'm gonna lose all of them. And this right here is a few thousand dollars. So you see, you may be able to make a lot of money, but there is a lot of liability in this business. And if you're not ready for it, or if you don't foresee the future or try to at least, you are going to suffer. So having a plant nursery is fun. And uh, if money is gonna be your main uh, motivator in starting a plant nursery, I can tell you, you are going to fail. You have to love plants because this is a work of love. Yes, you can charge a lot of money per plant, the return, return of investment per plant is really high, but you also have to take into account the time that it actually takes to get something ready for sale. The money, the investment, all the sweating, it's very time consuming, physically and mentally. And this is why a lot of people out there don't make it in this business. Because just like me, when you first start a plant nursery, you see the numbers and the numbers make sense, but you don't see everything else that comes along with it. When I first started this, I was like, man, you can make a thousand percent return, return of investment. Let's go. So guess what? Yeah, I started the nursery, but the numbers are nice when you sell plants, but when you don't, it makes no difference. 
Like this year, sales are down 40% from last year, and last year they were down 50% from the year before. So from two years ago, right now, my sales are down 90%. Why? Because people are broke. People are not buying houses. And the new housing right now, they have no yards. The yards are very small. People have no space. So guess what? The last thing in their mind is buying plants. The plants that I sell here in my nursery are mainly fruit trees. Fruit trees in general require a lot of space. And that is the problem right now. There's no space because all the new housing is so tiny. So most nurseries, actually do not grow their own plants if you go to a retail nursery one of those nice looking nurseries that you probably go to all the time most of those trees are grown at wholesale nurseries they buy them wholesale they bring them over and then they resell them they don't make as much money poor plant but the reason they do that is because they don't have to grow the plants they don't have to take care of them for too long so all they got to do is just bring them in and sell them bring them in and sell them and this is why you see a lot of sales of these nurseries because Time is money. Holding on to plants for years on end costs money. Labor, water, fertilization, just, to, just taking care of them. And another thing you don't think about is plants are living beings just like you and I. So if you don't take care of your plants, they are going to die. And guess what happens when they die? Yes, you're gonna get sad, but you're also going to lose money. So if you wanna get into this business, just keep an open mind. You have to like plants and make sure that you have another income source because if you think you're going to be able to replace your main source of income by selling plants, it's not going to happen. But Alan, there are a lot of YouTube videos out there saying otherwise. I see a lot of people successful in the plant business on YouTube. I can tell you a lot of them are lying. They're lying to you because you know why? They're telling you exactly what you want to hear, what you want to see in order for you to click and watch their videos because that's what's making them money. Here, I will always tell you the truth. Whether you like it or not, because I think the truth is very important, especially if you want to get into this business. As always, if you like my video, don't forget to like it. Um, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? And I will see you next time.